The narcissist often portrays themselves as extremely confident, independent, and superior to others. However, behind this facade of confidence lies a set of serious weaknesses that form the behavior of narcissists. In this episode, I will discuss the most important eight weaknesses of narcissists so that you can understand their behavior more and avoid falling into the trap of the manipulative narcissist easily. Although my speech is in the mail form to facilitate the delivery of the information, it is very important to know that the narcissistic personality we are talking about can be a man or a woman. I also want to thank you for your support and I hope that if you found the video beneficial, you would like and subscribe to the channel to help spread this information to anyone who may need it. Despite the narcissist's terrifying sense of insecurity and constant fear, which makes them appear in the ideal legendary image, they hide within themselves a tremendous weakness. Imagine a building with a weak and fragile foundation. Surely, this building will not last no matter how much you try to strengthen it, and in the end, it will collapse no matter how long it lasts. The narcissist makes an incredible effort to portray a false image of greatness and success, but inside, they suffer from continuous conflicts with doubts and fears that they cannot overcome. This feeling of fear is usually due to an old trauma inside the narcissist, which turns the narcissist into a continuous defensive state without even being aware of it. This is what constantly drives them to look for situations that show that they are a very superior and strong person so that they can cover up these weaknesses even from themselves. The narcissist heavily relies on others' opinions of them to gain self-respect and a sense of worth. Can you imagine someone who relies on others' opinions and praise to feel self-worth? With a complete lack of self-confidence and a fragile real personality, the narcissist feeds on compliments and sweet talk from others about them. At this time, they feel luxurious and magnificent when someone talks about them in a way that includes admiration or glorification. However, relying on this makes them vulnerable to criticism or rejection because not everyone will be fooled by the narcissist, and surely, someone will reveal their manipulation and deceptive methods, which will be a big problem for them because they will face their real personality, which they are basically running away from. Inside the narcissist, there is no room for empathy towards others or sympathy for their feelings and needs. This is strange for the narcissist, and they cannot understand it at all. This makes any relationship with the narcissist a superficial relationship that does not have any real connection or real closeness. On the contrary, this type of relationship eventually collapses in the end. One of the most important weaknesses of the narcissist is also that they have a terrible and insatiable desire to control everything around them because they understand that in this way, things will go the way they want and they plan for them. The narcissist's need for control shows you how weak the narcissist's real personality is, and when there is any challenge to the narcissist's control or their decisions are questioned, the fragility and internal weakness of the narcissist are clearly evident. The narcissist's reactions can be defensive, trying to take on the role of the victim, or they can turn into aggressive behavior because control is extremely important for the narcissist as it feeds their sense of happiness and provides them with a sense of security, but unfortunately, in a fake way. A very serious weakness in the narcissist's personality is their envy and constant need for competition. Every success and achievement of the narcissist in life is usually through comparison with others. The narcissist focuses on diminishing the achievements of others to appear better than them. When the narcissist sees a successful person, they cannot control their desire to diminish that success because of their tremendous sense of envy. This often ruins and destroys most of the narcissist's relationships. Diminishing the achievements of others is very necessary for the narcissist to protect their tremendous feeling of superiority. You will feel and notice very clearly how the narcissist views the success of others as a threat and cannot share in their happiness, even if the successful person is from their family or close circle. Also, the effort the narcissist puts into diminishing the achievements or successes of others is a major cause of draining relationships, which makes others move away from this exhausting relationship. Another very serious weakness in the narcissist is their fear of studying, talking about, or analyzing their personality. This issue causes the narcissist a terrible and constant fear, despite the ideal and confident facade they portray or try to show. The tremendous fear and lack of security inside the narcissist make them continue to make every effort to build a mask that protects their internal weaknesses. They are very afraid of being exposed or their personality being studied. 
thus revealing their manipulative and abusive nature. The narcissist is always threatened with collapsing at any time. That's why the narcissist continues in life to defend themselves, which makes them live in a manipulative and deceptive way, almost devoid of anything sincere or real. That's why it is important to know and understand how important the social facade is for the narcissist. They cannot continue their life without it, and any interference with it is exactly like the sudden collapse of a huge building without any preamble. This leads us to a very important point in the narcissist's personality, which is that they never learn from their mistakes and are not even willing to discuss them. No matter how much damage the narcissist causes, they will find justification for it without any sense of guilt or remorse. The narcissist continues in life in this way, without acknowledging their mistakes or attempting to take any responsibility for their actions, because they strongly refuse to admit their mistakes. That's why the narcissist cannot enter into healthy or normal relationships with others. Any relationship that does not bear responsibility or accept mistakes will eventually fail. One of the most dangerous weaknesses in the narcissist is their extremely high sensitivity to criticism. Even if it is a simple criticism about a simple thing, the narcissist's reaction to it is exaggerated because they consider any criticism of them as a threat to their image and superiority. The narcissist cannot distinguish between constructive criticism and criticism intended to diminish them, and they interpret this criticism from you as an attack on their personality, and they must act to defend against this attack. It is strange that the narcissist is very skillful in criticizing others and belittling them without considering their feelings. But when the narcissist faces criticism, their reaction is very bad, and they start to do anything to prove to themselves their superiority and perfection. Even the slightest criticism of the narcissist can result in an extreme response of anger and violence from them. Although the narcissist tries to show their strength and superiority, this is their main purpose. To cover and hide these weaknesses to ensure that no one can use them against them, as they do with others. You should know that the narcissist is not the strength and superiority they try to show you. Because all of this is just a fake facade, nothing more. You are not less than the narcissist at all and you do not deserve mistreatment or belittling. You deserve the best for your life. If you meet a narcissist or feel that you are involved in such a narcissistic relationship, you must distance yourself immediately and know that there is no benefit in maintaining a relationship with such a person. Instead of making extra efforts to change, which will not yield any results, and instead of trying to retaliate or respond to the narcissist's abuse, it is better to just move away. This was today's episode. I hope you benefited from it. And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments. Also, if you have any comments or advice regarding the channel, please send them to me. Thank you.